Hey everybody, welcome to History of Things with Pat. I'm here on Ocracoke Island in the Outer Banks of North Carolina. And behind me here is the cemetery for some of the founding families here on the island. Uh, and I thought it was really cool. This island's got lots of cool little pockets of history tucked all over the place. From cemeteries with founding families to cool tucked away grave markers of ghosts. Uh, ghost legends, I guess you should say. Old Divener, Augustus Abner McGuire, no relation, is an Irish uh, ship worker from Maine who uh, drowns while trying to repair a ship. Uh, his body is brought here. Uh, he's not even from here. They just happen to be offshore when they were repairing the ship, but he's buried locally. And uh, the kids would say that the ghost of the old diver would chase them down the street. Uh, but one of the cooler cemeteries here, very solemn, but one of the cooler cemeteries, and it's almost never talked about here, is the British Cemetery. Now imagine with me, it's 1942, and World War II is raging all across the continents of Europe, Africa, and Asia. But uh, here in the United States, things aren't as quiet as you think. While things are going absolutely crazy logistically with manufacturing for the war effort, uh, our shipping channels along the East Coast have been absolutely harassed by German U-boats. Uh, our naval resources uh, have been stretched thin, so the British government is going to lend us some things, and namely of which uh, ships, and one of them is the HMT Bedfordshire. Uh, it's a 1930s era Arctic trawler that had been retrofitted with a single 4-inch gun, a machine gun, and some depth charges, and, uh, and an entirely British crew, because obviously we don't have enough sailors to uh, man these ships. So. Uh, it's May of 1942, and uh, they're here, you know, patrolling the coast of North Carolina. And specifically on May 11th, 1942, German U-boat U-558 is going to hit them with a torpedo. The ship is going to be lost, and all hands will be lost with it, except for these four sailors, uh, who will be the only four bodies that will be recovered. They will wash ashore, and the locals will put them in the ground here. And some years later, uh, in a really cool effort, an and a bunch of organizations working together, this land will be returned to the British government, and officially, these sailors will be buried in a plot of land that is forever England. And I thought that was really cool, that of all the cool pieces of history tucked around this island, you got a small piece of World War II history and a small piece of England that is right here tucked in the good old United States of America.